over and over again, we on the outside are looking into America thinking you guys are absolutely mental with your gun crime and unwillingness to make things better. Now, I know there are plenty of people in the United States that think the same as us, but the right has a stranglehold and will not give up they're assault rifles. My, my problem with guns is I don't buy either side's arguments completely, right? So the conservative argument is that guns are written in the Constitution because the Founding Fathers thought if all the citizens have guns, then the government will have to do what they say or else the people will rise up and fight the government, right? Which is a legitimately great idea in the 1700s. <laughs> but <laughs> the problem is there's still people now hoarding weapons, thinking that at some point they may need to take on the American military and they think they have a shot. See, it's, it's so true, isn't it? For the, for, the, for, for the time that the Constitution was written, it makes complete sense. You know, the civil wars going on and everything, it makes complete sense, right? You have a weapon, and therefore it means that the, the, the government is less likely to, to cause any issues. However, is it really necessarily ne necessary now to have assault rifles that blow piece at blow people to pieces? It's a it's a weapon that is designed to destroy whatever it hits. The bullets hit. It's mental. There's a reason why people don't hunt with them because there's nothing left of the body. You know, there's a reason why the military use it because there is nothing left of the body. Right. <laughs> and look, maybe they're right which is why I'm proposing we test their theory and once a year have a head-to-head -head showdown. <laughs> Where's this going? Say a, a hundred members of the NRA versus, I don't know, two members of the military. <laughs> Broadcast it on Fox Christmas Day. Make some money. Like, Merry Christmas and welcome to the 2022 NRA military showdown. Let's go down to the field of battle, meet one of our NRA combatants. Sir, what's your name? What kind of weapon do you work with? And he's like, my name's Andy Baker, and I got an AR-15, wearing Kevlar head to toe. Andy, how confident are you, scale of one to 10? Fucking a million. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is the stereotype that the outsiders from every other country has of the Yanks. That overconfidence even when there is no reason to be confident. Fantastic. <laughs> We're gonna check in with the military real quick and they cut to one guy by himself in a bunker and he's like, uh, my name's Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Walker. And they're like, Jeremiah, what kind of weapon you work with? And he's like, look, I don't know if this is fair, but I'm working with a, a drone. <laughs> Yeah, it's equipped with eight Hellfire missiles and a high-powered camera. As you can see on this monitor here, the NRA fellows are actually in just one big cluster. So, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we started? All right. Just press uh, yeah, the button. So I'm gonna hit this button right here. Yeah, now they're all dead. That'll do it for this year's NRA military showdown. Oh. Brought to you by Whole Foods. <laughs> oh my God. I I've not heard that before. And that is fantastic. That's not giving the arguments, you know, of school shootings and things like that, right? That is funny. It's, it's basically looking at the issue of the second amendment of we've got to have guns in case we need to rise up and all that nonsense, okay? What is the chance of someone with an AR-15 with a guy with a drone with Hellfire <laughs> missiles? That it's, it's not, warfare often is not like what it was anymore. It's not hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's not, it's not, it's not shooting at people. Yes, partly it still is, but the majority it's not. It's from distance. It's cyber warfare. You know, it's drones, it's tanks. How is your AR-15 going to do to... What's it going to do to a tank? It's not going to do anything. So this really is taking the mic out of that whole concept, whereas times have moved on. So you can't use the Second Amendment in the same context as it can be now. You know, 
you're not going to be able to rise up against the government with AR-15s against the military. Oh, uh, that is completely ruining that argument that that the NRA and and the right wingers have who who have the the AR-15s. If you have an AR-15, I will say this: you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. Get rid of it, mate. You're not keeping anyone safe. You are making people unsafe. Uh, okay, that's all we got to say. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you like and subscribe. That was a good laugh. My jaws are aching now after that little laugh. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.